It wasn't like it was Tanuki Suit Mario in which it was only a rock sometimes and then it was like a normal person the regular times. But hey yo, what's up you guys? So I'm coming here with another video and we're doing a reaction video with Drunk 3 pos interview with Gio from the High Republic. Let's get into it. But first, of course, if you're new to my channel, what is up? My name is Mitch Maverick Mitch. Hey, Mitch, Mitch. All the Mitches, and pretty much I like talk about what I like talk about. So, current events, reviews, and pop culture within the scope of entertainment, culture, and purpose. So, TV movie reviews, social public commentary. Be sure to check out all those videos as you're finishing this video. So, kind of pairing up with my last video, like how these woke SJW weird Twitter non fans of Star Wars don't know Star Wars. You know, I did a video saying this person didn't know Star Wars, and actually, Junk 3PO saw it and he gave me a sub and a what's up, and so really awesome there. And so, kind of playing upon that and doing his a reaction video to his, one of his latest videos and everything. And kind of like this kind of goes into that subject because the person, if you in case you missed it, um, the, the Star Wars The High Republic made out a new video publishing a new character called Geo, might as well be Geo Dude, that it was a rock. Like a rock for a character, right? And you can check out the Star Wars girl, she did a whole video on it, and not everyone was talking about it too. And this wasn't a troll thing. It was so bad that the Star Wars official channel didn't do anything about it. And the Instagram, the Star Wars Instagram, official Instagram, put the video on it and then quickly took it down because people were like saying, what the hell is this? But you know, people on the internet got receipts and so we've been talking about it. And so it kind of goes into this point in which like, well, the High Republic, the people over there don't know what they're doing and they're making dumb characters, you know? Jossie is the eccentric pilot of a vessel known simply as the Vessel. Co-piloted by Appy Hollow and navigated by Geo, who appears to be a rock. Leox is a charming rogue from the frontier. When a group of Jedi seek transportation to the Outer Rim, Leox and his loyal crew are hired. But disaster strikes as debris from a horrific accident littered across hyperspace threatens to tear the vessel apart. But it'll take more than a galaxy-wide disaster to pray Leox's go-with-the-flow attitude. With his effortless piloting, Appy's efficient repairs, and Geode's quick response, the vessel safely exits hyperspace, presumably in the middle of nowhere. With the transportation business flourishing, ferrying immigrants to the frontier, native pirates plot against these outsiders. And these Jedi are traveling in a private ship, which is where we meet uh, Leox, Geode, and Affy. Uh, they are the crew of the vessel that takes them there. And uh, I didn't want to do um, somebody that was going to be just like Han Solo. And I definitely didn't want to do diet Han Solo. You know, <laughs> he's kind of a rogue, but he's less interesting. You know, um, the best. Yeah, no. <laughs> less villain, yeah. uh, so I was like, okay, what is a template for a pilot who has some of this scoundrel energy but isn't Han Solo at all? And somehow my brain was like, you need to give 1990s Matthew McConaughey a spaceship and see what would happen. Already, one thing that stands out to me with this character is, and I don't know what the people were trying to think and how this was okay and everything, but the first thing that comes to mind was a monolith from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And so I don't know if this person, Claudia Gray, the person that created this character, was trying to draw from this, and it just feels so disingenuous. Okay, so another thing that comes to mind, because in the in the interview with Claudia Gray talking about this character, she brings in like, I want to bring Matthew McConaughey and all this stuff, and what goes to my mind already was the character of Tars in Interstellar where M Matthew McConaughey is right and I feel like this like monolith rock character was just a play on that like interstellar character and it's just like I don't know what you're going with this at least at the very least like in humans as dumb as in humans was at least there was a face on the wall of the rock that transported people to from the moon to the earth and that was even lame so but this one is a rock but I mean they didn't elaborate it any further 
it wasn't like it was Tanuki Suit Mario in which it was only a rock sometimes and then it was like a normal person the regular times. But at least they did a bad job not describing this character fully before they re released it out because all we know it's, it was a rock and it was just really dumb. So we can talk some more about how Star Wars High Republic doesn't know what they're doing but what I'd rather do in this video is just have some fun with Junk 3PO having an interview with the Geode um, and, and just taking a look at it. So, yeah. Would you please welcome to the stream <laughs> my special guest. <laughs> Would you please welcome the newest member of the Star Wars community. <laughs> This is so great. I can't, I can't hear right now traveling light speed. <laughs> so, we only have the biggest stars on this channel, and since you finally made your debut... <laughs> uh, the microphone is in the picture one. No, it's okay. It's okay, Jedi. You got this, man. You got this. Um, it even says in the book that the Jedi don't even know when you're walking. <laughs> um, they don't even know when you're talking. But it says you have the biggest personality in all of Star Wars. I don't know how you pull it off. I'm telling you, the awards are coming your way. How do you do it, my friend? How do you do it? It's just about having a you know, rock-hard personality. <laughs> and uh, you got to stick to your morals. And, you know, it's just it's hard being part of the community. You know, they look at me kind of funny. It's... Kind of a new world, but you just gotta be accepting. Obviously, 2020 was a difficult year for many people. Um, did you find any difficulties? Did you find any difficulties that you overcame that you can you know, motivate others? Uh, 2020 was a rocky year, <laughs> but all I can say is I met some really great friends, it's Jedi. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a boulder, I'm a rock, so I just, I don't really know what you want me to say. Okay, wrapping it up again, that was just something really fun. I just cut out the pieces that I thought were the funniest. You can check out the whole interview. Again, it was more like improv because these are not comedians that were going into it. So it was a free ball type thing and it was just a fun exchange. And so, yeah, I mean, like I said, I can go into a whole thing about how, what the hell is Star Wars The High Republic doing? But, I, you know, I think there's going to be more videos for it to come and how they're just playing it out in the future. And, um... And the Star Wars Girls does a lot of the breakdowns of all the animatics, so be sure to check that out. And then, again, this whole thing, if anything, is just, well, one, this is kind of like a slip up in itself. But, like, two, if the High Republic is going the way that it, they are with the woke stuff, it's like the Star Wars real fans are not happy with it, or, or at least they're not buying into this all this stuff and again this person comes from Claudia Gray like and people might say she's a good writer or whatever but at the end of one of the Star Wars live streams she puts the Vulcan salute right and so and it wasn't in trying to be like the whole meta joke as far as like Gandalf says in the Naruto verse and then you say something from a different thing you know and it's just one of those things that is just really dumb why would you do that type thing and so um, just leaving it there, put your comments and everything, and yeah. Thank you for again for watching, see you in the next video. You can follow me on my Instagram at HeyMitchMitch, you can follow my joint Instagram at It's Mandatory Fun, where I do other videos for my friend Jen. I'm also on Parlor Mavic Mitch, and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace, peace. Be with you.